Francisco Frankie Lopez has loved soccer since his birth in McMinnville in 1988. He quickly became a standout midfielder due to his countless hours of practice and true love of the game. He competed on several regional traveling clubs throughout childhood, achieving three league, three state, and two regional championships in a four-year span, making him a highly anticipated athlete as a freshman in 2003. He was very intense uh, about soccer and being a successful soccer player at a very early age. And uh, he, he was very gifted and he, he was far ahead of uh, the kids in his own age group and always looking to move up to play with better competition. And Frankie started on varsity all four years and immediately became one of the Bears leaders and best players earning a Pac-9 All-Conference Honorable Mention selection in just his first season. The key to his success was his work ethic. He was just relentless. As a sophomore, he won the Pac-9 Sportsmanship of the Year Award, his first of three straight Team MVP awards, and made the first of three appearances on the All-Conference First Team, while leading the Grizzlies to the first of two consecutive conference championships. I always wanted to win and always uh, wanted to be the best player that he could be. He had great burst of speed. He was very physically fit and he became stronger each year. Just a sort of a total dedication to becoming the best that he could be. He continued to lead the Bears to another winning season as a junior, which caused the sport to gain more notoriety and fans, while Lopez led the state in single season goals with 34 garnering him with the first of two straight Conference Player of the Year awards and All-State First Team selections. But after the Grizzlies lost in the second round of the state playoffs for the third year in a row, Frankie, the returning senior team captain, vowed to the student body during the homecoming assembly to bring a state title to Mack High. He had been working tirelessly to become the best player in Oregon and in the summer he took his regional club team to the finals of the Surf Cup. He led the tournament in total goals with 11 and was rewarded onto their all-tournament first team. During the regular season, he was once again tops in the state for single season goals with 36, while leading the Bears to a 13-1-1 record, their best season to date. It was his overall leadership and his intensity with us becoming the most physically fit team that we could be. It was a message that I was trying to send to the other kids and he bought in totally. And I think that it was clear uh, that we were uh, more physically fit than any team we played. We always uh, seemed to dominate teams in the second half of the game. Lopez was named as an Oregon Sports Award semifinalist and as the Oregon Gatorade Player of the Year. But his biggest accomplishment came in the state playoffs. Following a convincing 3-1 win over Clackamas in the second round and after beating top-seeded South Eugene in the semifinals on penalty kicks, the Bears advanced further than ever before to the championship game. I remember talking to them in the dressing room before the game and saying, no one expects you to do well in this game. Jesuit has won so many state championships and they're considered the elite team in the state. But I want you to go out and have fun, and enjoy the crowd and just, just play like you know how to play. And I think we're gonna surprise them a little bit. They found themselves trailing by one to Jesuit in the second half but quickly tied the score, which remained deadlocked through overtime and penalty kicks. Sudden death determined McMinnville's fate. Jesuits spent a huge amount of energy in that game trying to stop Frankie, trying to double team and triple team him. And he was unstoppable, uh, even against uh, double teams. And I think we went to our, even our seventh or eighth player before we finally won that shootout. It was very exciting and uh, certainly one of the, the best sports memories I'll, I'll ever have. Mack High won their first ever soccer state championship in 2006 completing Frankie's promise of bringing the title to MHS. He graduated in 2007 with a 3.9 GPA and finished the greatest soccer career in school history by becoming Mac's all-time leader in career goals with 84, career assists with 36, 
and in career winning percentage at 80%. Well, he was probably the, the best high school player that I ever saw at McMinnville High School. And we had some we had some really good good players come through here. But in terms of his the overall picture of uh, fitness and leadership and being able to dominate a game, I think he was the best player we ever had. His tremendous senior season earned Lopez a spot under the US national soccer team that summer. Before turning down multiple scholarships and professional offers, to study business and play for the University of Portland. He spent two seasons with the Pilots. In his first, he led them in shot accuracy with 31.2% and was selected onto the West Coast Conference All-Freshman First Team while helping them capture the Conference Tournament Championship. His second year was even better, leading the team in five different categories, including shot percentage, shot on goal accuracy with over 55%, goals with 12, total points with 27, and game-winning goals with four, a number that has kept him in sixth place on their all-time list to this day. He took his team to the conference tournament finals, was chosen as the tournament MVP, and on to the all-conference first team to end an excellent college career. At that time, Frankie accepted a contract to play with the Jaguars football club in Mexico as their starting midfielder in 2009. He had two solid seasons with them, which unfortunately ended with a severely broken leg. He rehabbed and spent the next year with the Portland Timbers and the following season with the Fusion of Ventura, California. There he had his most individual success as he was named a Premier Development League Conference Player of the Week honorable mention selection and was chosen onto the all-conference first team while also being picked to participate in the U.S. Open Cup Tournament. After signing with a club in El Salvador in 2013, Frankie contracted malaria which sapped him of all of his motor functions for over a month, leaving him with a daunting 120-day recovery. Doctors doubted if he could continue playing, but for the past two seasons, Frankie Lopez has been playing the sport he loves with the Seattle Sounders. The illness left him with a new perspective on life, and since his recovery, he's enjoyed volunteering with children by coaching the Yamhill Carlton Soccer Club and through founding the Community Connecting Creation, which teaches soccer and good sportsmanship to children in Yamhill County. Frankie Lopez takes great pride in giving back to the community and sport that has given him so much success at such a young age. Currently 26 years old, today we honor Mack High's first ever soccer player and youngest athlete to date into our Sports Hall of Fame knowing that his best years may still be ahead of him.